Hi, I'm Peter from Caracal and today I'm going to be showing you the recommended and how I find the easiest way of regripping your racket. Um, we're going to be using the Caracal PU Super Grip and we're going to be regripping Joel Makin's Raw Pro Squash Racket. Okay, first of all, we need to be taking off the old grip and um, you take it off, you remove it and you change to a new one when you find that the uh, the PU grip has lost its tack, so um, it's, it's, it's a good time to change it. So you have the finishing tape here at the end that says Caracal in silver and black and you peel that off. There we go, peel it off and hopefully it's connected to the end of the grip. There we go, so if we're gonna, we're gonna take the old grip off. There we go, good, this one's coming off nice and easy. Not leaving much residue underneath. You can sometimes be left with a few bits and pieces, lumps and bumps. Uh, in an ideal world, you wanna get rid of the, the bigger lumps and bumps. You don't need it uh, completely clean, but uh, flush is a good idea then you don't feel um, the, uh, the lumps when you put the new grip on. Okay so the old grip is off just to make sure yeah everything's clean and flat so I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay next we've got the the new PU grip and we've got it in yellow here. Um, you've got a little tab which helps you take off that finishing tape from around the waist of the grip. Unravel, not too many folds. And you'll see that there is a film over the top of the grip. That's a protective film um, to ensure that the PU comes to you in tip top condition from the factory. And we take this off by using the little red tab at the top. And you start the top there and you peel it off and it peels off nice and easy it just almost falls away um, but you need that protection so that uh, you get, get the best quality grip on your racket okay and then we need to take off the backing strip of the sticky and we're going to take it off from the tapered end and it says start at that end and that's the place that we're going to start. We're not going to take the protective backing off all the way. We're going to pick the racket back up and I'm going to hold it handle side out and I'm going to start by putting this edge here onto the racket so that it's flush with the bottom. And then I'm going to start wrapping around the racket. As you can see, I'm turning with my left hand, turning the racket. And then I'm going to pull it a little bit so it stretches it slightly over the, the shape, the contour of the bottom of the handle there. And then as it comes around to this point, it goes straight on both sides and that's when you want it to start going down the grip. As you can see I'm pulling the backing off as I'm going and it's going to be overlapping around about two to three mil and there's a thin edge here it's tapered down on this side and it's actually a, a thick a straight edge on there. So this tapered edge here when overlapped will create a perfectly flat finish. So overlap in there, only about uh, two to three mil. And wrapping it around, taking off the sticky backing as I'm going, turning the racket handle in my left hand. And there we go. All the way down. Well, the writing should be the right way up as you go down. There we 
nice and careful. I have it nice and neat and tidy. And we're coming towards the end. You can see it's still pulling the sticky backing off as I'm going. And you get to this point here. So this is the finishing point of the grip. You see the ridge. This is the intended finishing line. Some people do grip down a little bit further. They use the uh, the remainder of the grip, but the intended is to here. Um, there is excess, so you need to cut that off if you want to make it look nice and tidy. Um, but there will be um, you know, different amounts of um, excess depending on how you grip it. You may want to overlap it just a little bit more and that gives you a, a bit of a, a ridge, a bit of a contour around your hand. And it can look a little bit like that. It's a personal preference, um, but the idea is with the uh, with the make of the grip to to go flush. Um, so we're going to cut it so that it looks nice and neat and tidy up to this point. So um, at this point here, I need to take a sharp pair of scissors. Scissors. This is where it gets tricky. And really, at this point, we cut at an angle. And we've got to get it to this edge here, which is where um, the end of the grip should be. So we cut all the way along, nice and flat. Then. Okay, so we've got that edge there, and as I wrap this grip around, it will go flush in that groove. There we go, nice and flush there. Okay, we've then got the, the finishing tape, and we take off the sticky backing there. And then we attach that to the end of the grip. And then we can put that down and wrap it around again so that the wording is the right way up. And we put it taut all the way around the grip, all the way around the handle there, and then press it down slightly make sure it's stuck down properly and there we have it nice freshly gripped racket in the PU super grip in yellow on John Makin's Raw Pro squash racket I hope you find that interesting and I hope you find it helpful thanks very much for watching